absolutely is the perfect place to be having these discussions. I think the focus has to be on spiritual development at this moment in human history. And if we get things sorted out inside, there's a very simple expression we use within our own community, and we call it inside out makes sense, doesn't it? If inside I'm discontent and unhappy, then what am I going to do with it? It doesn't stay inside, it expresses itself outside in some form or another. But if I can cultivate that innate goodness, then through the cultivation of that, and I believe that this is true of all human souls, each and every human soul has within itself truth, peace, purity, love, and joy. These are the innate qualities of the spirit, and that's true of absolutely each and every one. I want to express my deep gratitude to the land, to the sacred land, to the kingdom of Bhutan, and to my new friends from Bhutan. I also want to express my gratitude to my friends from the international community who have come, because everyone has very busy lives, and it's been a long journey, and we've come a long way to experience your sacred land. And then I see that your sacred rivers are full of life and energy. They're alive still. Your forests are alive. Your mountains are alive. Your animals are happy and free. Nowhere else have I found that. I've come really with a plea, a plea to preserve the sacred land and to prevent the destruction that we have seen all over. For us who seek the truth and for all living beings, may the winds blow sweetly, may the rivers flow sweetly, may the herbs yield us sweetness. Sweet be the night and the break of day, sweet be the very dust of the earth, May the heavens pour down sweetness upon us. <laughs> As the Prime Minister Jimmy Waitune defined, we have now clearly distinguished, I quote, we have clear, now clearly distinguished the happiness in GNH 
from the fleeting, pleasurable, feel-good moods so often associated with that term. We know that true abiding happiness cannot exist while others suffer and comes only from serving others, living in harmony with nature, and realizing our innate wisdom and true and brilliant nature of our own minds. Yes, traditionally, like our Indochine area, it's like Vietnam, Cambodia, and this area. Yeah. We are very rich in history, you know, in past. So we have this wild tea. Like yeah. The Look at here, man, just strawberry. We don't need to lose in balance. Yes. It's okay. humans live in harmony with nature, nature exactly. not outside are. nature, right, right. but in harmony with nature, mm -hmm. leaving yeah. enough for other species mm -hmm. and for human use, doing it in the most delicate mm -hmm. way possible. The way the economic system has developed is a consequence of a wrong understanding of what mankind is of what our relationship between one another is, what our relationship to nature is, what our relationship to the spiritual dimension is. And when I heard many years, some years ago, about gross national happiness and the efforts that Bhutan was doing to show a new path, a new vision, I felt this was part of the vision that we need, not only for Bhutan, but for the whole of the world, to put the happiness and well-being, not only of human beings, but of all beings and of our planet, in the center of our development and of all our efforts. We must appeal to the higher consciousness of human beings that leads to peaceful and harmonious societies. We must shun policies and paths that promote violence, discrimination of women, discrimination among ethnic groups, and cruelty in any form. Religions must preach peace, non-violence, and tolerance, and altogether avoid hatred and sense of superiority <coughs> over others. I believe that these are some vital requirements for promoting cross-national happiness. Where I live, the land is so wounded and so angry, and the people are so caged and so hurt. Usually, when we use the word developed, it refers to countries like mine. And developing, referring to countries like Bhutan. And that implies that your destination is us. You're developing, and we're developed. But I look in my country, and I see the, the, the dead end that we've reached in the misery, the unhappiness. And I think, I don't want this for a beautiful place like Bhutan. You're already closer to permaculture. You're already living in a worldview that understands the interconnectedness of all beings, the non-separation, that understands that what you do to any being any river, any mountain, any species, you're doing to yourself. And the original word, development, comes from biology. Uh, self-organized, self-evolution from within. So the development is a process where a seed becomes a tree. An embryo becomes a human being. A society evolves according to its culture, guided by its values. That is development. But when economics took the term development, it meant the opposite. That which is imposed from outside with totally false measures. Now, I've dedicated myself to agriculture as a way of living my spiritual life. Because for me, the seed is sacred, and the soil is sacred, and the water is sacred. And food is sacred. It's Anna. <laughs> The 
truth and harmony are tied together. And harmony so the, is truth and so the whole truth statement exactly. is that uh, truth alone triumphs, not disharmony. Imbalance will dissolve. Hmm? Im imbalance, that's the point about imbalance. It's, it's imbalanced. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if I put this cup on the edge out here, yes. it has to fall. It has to fall. Yes. You know? Yeah. Sukha chayasima shanti cha mukti moksha nirva dharmana hindu bauta ho sikhe salaman jay Dharma chitta ko shuddhata, dharma shanti sukha jai. Truth is that which is true in itself, not dependent on anything else. It lives by itself, it fulfills itself, not dependent on anything else, not bound to anything else. <coughs> Truth is that which is innately permanent. And if it is innate, if it is permanent, it is self-fulfilling is also the underlying unity that upholds everything. Prabhu says, the saints of our time are those who refuse to be either its executioners or its victims. We have to consciously recast our own personal morality. We have to avoid the sin of warm and fuzzy false piety. If out of your piety there's nothing that changes the world. Don't waste your time. Templeton says, if we had been holier people, we would have been angrier people more often. <laughs> Thank you.